Marguerite Henry, born Marguerite Breithout, was one of the best known writers of animal stories for children and was born on April 13, 1902 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She is the youngest of five children of parents Louis and Anna Breithout. At a young age, Marguerite Henry had an illness known as rheumatic fever in which she was forced to stay indoors for six years, from age six through twelve. Since she was not able to leave her house, Marguerite Henry began her writing career, mainly writing about different types of animals like mules, dogs, foxes, and even birds. But the one animal that Marguerite Henry truly loved was horses. She attended and graduated from Riverside High School, and after graduation, she attended the Milwaukee State Teachers College, which is now part of the University of Wisconsin. She married her husband, Sidney Crocker Henry, at the age of 21 on May 5, 1923. Though Marguerite Henry and her husband Sidney were never able to bear children, they had an abundant amount of animals living with them, and they considered them their children. In 1940, Marguerite Henry and her husband Sidney Crocker Henry moved to Wayne, Illinois which is famously known for their horse breeding. In 1940, her first full-length book, Anno and Tano, A Story of Finland, was published. It was based on two of her Finnish friends and their adventures. From 1940 to through 1945, Marguerite Henry published a total of five books, including Dilly Dally Sally, Birds at Home, Geraldine Belinda, and one of her best well-known books, Justin Morgan Had a Horse. When she finished Justin Morgan Had a Horse, she wanted to find an illustrator that would be able to draw the horses as accurately as possible. This is when Faith brought her to Wesley Dennis. Marguerite Henry stated, and I quote, I had just finished writing Justin Morgan Had a Horse and wanted the best horse artist in the world to illustrate it. So I went to the library, studied the horse books, and immediately fell in love with the work of Will James and Wesley Dennis. When I found out that Will James was dead, I sent my manuscript to Wesley Dennis." End quote. This began a 20-year collaboration which led to 15 published books between Wesley Dennis and Marguerite Henry, and five of those 15 books were award-winning books. In 1945, Marguerite Henry received the Newbery Honor Medal for Justin Morgan Had a Horse, and in 1948, she received her second Honor Medal for her book, Misty of Chincoteague. Misty of Chingateague also received the Lewis Carroll Shell Award in 1961. She
She received her one and only Newbery Whitty Medal in 1949 for her book, King of the Wind. When I first began reading this book, it started to grow slowly on me. But as I read further, I could not put the book down. I found it to be an amazing read. I was able to place myself in the main character's shoes. His name is Agba, and I related with my dog Rumbo as Sham, the horse. In 1960, Black Gold won the Sequoia Book Award. Gaudenzia, Pride of Palio, was awarded the Clara Ingram Judson Award in 1961. Mustang, Wild Spirit of the West, was awarded the Western Heritage Award in 1967. And, in 1956, Friday of the Grand Canyon won the William Allen White Award. I loved Bridey of the Grand Canyon because of the way that Henry Marguerite described everything in such detail. And just like her other books, she wrote, she wrote the book based on facts. Though animal cruelty was something that I skipped, I enjoyed the rest of the book. Most of Henry Marguerite's books were turned into movies, like... Like King of the Wind, Bridey of the Grand Canyon, Misty of Chincoteague, or better known as Misty, and Disney made Justin Morgan had a horse. From the four books that I read, I noted that Marguerite Henry focuses and goes into the detail about the pedigree of the horses she writes about, and is also accurate in her historical moments which she writes in her novels. The way she describes every sentence drags you from your living room to the location she has written about and is a rare form among writers. Her form of historical fiction is key in her book and help set an entertaining and great historical perspective. For example, Bridey of the Grand Canyon was written about a wild burro that lived in the Grand Canyon from 1892 until 1922. King of the Wind was about the actual Godolphin Arabian horse while Misty of Chincoteague and Sea Star of Chincoteague was based off the island of Chincoteague, Virginia and the wild Pony Penny. In total, Marguerite Henry wrote over 45 books, which ranged from 1940 until her death in 1997. Her final book, was My Misty Diary, published in 1996, a year before her death. In my opinion, Marguerite Henry is one of the best authors of the 20th century. Her stories connect with anyone who loves animals. I would highly recommend either reading these books to 5th grade students or having middle school students read them on the road. I would also highly recommend all of you to check out her books and learn of different cultures or be swept away to different parts of the world.